manager who created the track that you just heard. Give it up for Barry! Well done, babe. Mwah. I am such a lucky guy. <laughs> no one cares about the help. Okay, so, look at you. Here we are, Brighton Comedy Festival on the Saturday fucking night. This shit's gonna get real, right? Yeah. <laughs> Quick question. Anybody here excited? deep into the weekend with a drink? Yeah. Anybody feel fabulous in every possible way? Yeah. Well, here's a fun fact. If you answered yes, or more appropriately, <laughs> to two or more of those questions tonight, you are in fact a frisky. So give me a shout if you're a frisky. 
<laughs> okay. And um, if you don't bleat on command, mindlessly yelping for anything, but would rather judge something in your own time and on its own merits, then you're a manish. Give me a shout, manishes! <laughs> My side. Yeah. Realise the irony of what you just. No? Okay, good. Don't think they do. Well, we're all here to have a good time, so let's get this party started! No, ow, no, no. Ow, 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 no. Now, if you've seen this before, put your hands. Just you decide. Now, if you've seen us before on tour, or if you've never seen us at all, it really doesn't matter, cos I need y'all. So, can I get a whoop whoop? Can I get a... Can I get... Ow! Ow! Can I get a... Can I get a... Can I get a... Ow! Arms up! Hey! Ho! Hey! Ho! Let's do Frank! Hey! Ho! This is amazing! Look at you people! You're incredible! This is just... Please don't feel obligated. Okay, I'm gonna teach you the routine, it's really easy. What we're gonna do, shake your ass, but watch yourselves. Shake your ass, show me what you're worth. Come on, shake your ass, but seriously, watch yourselves. Cause Chris is in the house, everybody sing along, come on. Okay, so our earlier shows, Barry, thanks. Um, our, sit down, very quickly. Quickly, quietly, we're, already, we're running over. It's a comedy festival, let's keep to one hour. Um, if you've seen any of our earlier shows, Frisky and Manish shows, I mean, you will of course know that they were all about educating and employing you within the world of popular music. Yes, yeah, exa exactly. As you can hear from the bison in the corner, it's gone brilliantly. <laughs> Pop. Fortunately, this show is not about you. Don't worry though, it's about something really good. It's about meltdowns and excess. You know, the point in a pop star's career where they've already reached their peak and they're just continuing to plow on. <laughs> yeah. Now, we've seen it a lot. It's always a three-act narrative. So to begin, pop act bursts on scene. Then, pop act has surprising, some may say undeserved, success. And then finally, pop act fundamentally crumbles from within when personal issues become intertwined with business and creative matters. You know, and how do you know if you're having a meltdown? Well, all you have to do is watch out for one of these three very easy to recognize phases. Phase number one, physical change. That's any sort of extreme makeover, uh, drastically different hairdo, plastic surgery. Rumored. Or any sort of excessive weight gain as a result of addictive behavior. For example. And then we have phase two of the meltdown, which is behavioural change. So, you know, sort of mood swings, diva fits, you know, passive aggressive sort of arguments. I think we all remember, don't we, when All Saints broke up over a coat. <laughs> and finally, phase three is public disintegration. So, if you're a solo act, that's some sort of um, shave your head, lob a bong out of a window type episode. But if you're a group, it's rather more exciting. It's an on-stage, mid-show resignation slash grievous bodily harm. Yeah. Uh, I know this is a lot to take in. I think this was probably best summarised by the Dowager Countess of Meltdowns herself, Dame Courtney Love, when she very famously said... <laughs> now, if you're doing it right, you are going to outrage people. And of course, when we say people, we do mean Sinead O'Connor. Now let's be very clear on this point, that is the pinnacle of what you can achieve. And not everyone is gonna get right up there. But we just wanted to tell you, we were actually at Sinead O'Connor's house just the other day, helping her to get on iTunes. And um, we discovered a very interesting early draft of a letter that then became infamous. Dear Miley, please excuse my writing. I can't stop my hands from shaking, cause I'm cold and alone tonight. I miss you. You used to be so perky. 
Now you've gone all tonguey and twerky. You were short, you were sweet, you tried. And if my words break through the wall to meet you at your door, all I can say is, Miley, what you did to that hammer was dirty. And there were so many more drafts, some of which she didn't even send, like this one. Dear Beyonce, why are your buttocks on display? Hmm? I don't get this game you're trying to play. What is wrong with a skirt for next? So don't be controlled by the music industry. Don't listen to anyone but me. And I mean it. Go to next and get a skirt. Dear Bieber, look at you with all your little believers. I always felt there might be something between us. But that's wrong. Should I go on a list? But your little face, your lovely eyes, and your tapered waist. My love for you is certainly not music based. So go on with yourself to be sure. Which is obviously just Irish for etc. etc. Some of them were sarcastic, very much so, like this one. Dear Robin Thicke, you seem to struggle with rhyming shtick. What rhymes with hug me? Why don't I help you out a bit with a rhyme for your name, Robin Thicke? Like Dick! Dear Jesse J, what a disappointment. Are you needing some kind of ointment? Did your talent get shaved off with your hair? Sinead would know. And by all means, bang, bang into the room. But could you bang, bang, give us a tune? For the love of God, it's not even singing. Dear Jason Derulo, yes, it's weird that you hear trumpets when I'm turning you on. Properly weird. I mean, I hear voices too, but I certainly don't put it in a song. Dear Demi Lovato, your version of Let It Go. Let it go. And your name. What is that? A feckin' drink. Could I get a decaf Demi Lovato to go, thanks. And, and to the people of the land, the power is in your hands to put an end to cloning indie bands. They're all the feckin' same. Get a feckin' haircut. Um, I just had to backtrack a second. Sorry about this. I've just been thinking of better rhymes for Robin Thicke, and um, I've got quite a few actually. I've got uh, tasteless prick, uh, done too quick, <laughs> and my personal favourite, misogynistic. You know, you know. I um, I am really worried about Robin Thicke. Why? Because I hate him. <laughs> That's a general thing. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Um, I hated him literally from the moment that I saw him, which by the rules of Disney means I'm going to marry him. I, I don't think the train belongs to my dreams. <laughs> Dear Sweden, I miss your fabulous foursome. A reunion would clearly be awesome. These two boys, those two girls, it was great. I know that the blonde one's quite the hermit. But when they get together, it's worth it. Can you guess who she means? Anyone? Can you guess it? Ace of base. <laughs> we did find just one final letter. Dear Iggy Azalea. No, baby, no. Those are short. Never tweet. You tried, she tried. Love and kisses from Sinead.
No, stay to that. No, it's interesting, isn't it, though, that these sorts of meltdowns, they happen to a lot of women in this industry. Oh. <laughs> There's that word again. I've been hearing that a lot recently. Women. God. Apparently, it's this whole movement on Twitter. Uh, so, no, hang on. Um, Women. Are you talking about feminism? That's the official hashtag. Okay, yeah. you there. We have a terrible mansplaining accident. Um, interesting, though, isn't it? Though feminism is sort of everywhere right now. Um, although, interestingly, not as yet a movement, because, of course, as we all know, a movement does require a musical anthem. Yeah, you know, the way that civil rights had Marvin Gaye, what's going on? And of course, gay rights had Diana Ross, I'm coming out. Yeah, um, and, and women, they have this. It's by the Sugar Babes. Yeah. So you actually mean the remake, which is even better, which goes up. Slipping on my little black dress, five inch heels, I'm bound to impress. Turn it up, I'm a little temptress. Look at me, I'm an object of sex. No, let's try again, Sugar Babes. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, so, so feminists aren't allowed to be pretty. Okay. Um, okay, so what can we do for an anthem? Oh, what about? More than a woman. That'd be good, wouldn't it? More than a woman to me. Sorry, that's, um, that's not a compliment. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm telling you that I respect you more than I respect women. <laughs> okay, fine, you pick one then. World-class female artist, go. Megan Trainer. <laughs> Who, sorry, what? Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no treble. I'm all about that bass. Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? I'm all about that bass, about that bass. Oh my god, this is the worst song I've ever heard. It has a very positive message for women. Let's hear the chorus then. My mama, she told me to worry about your size. She sounds like a grown up baby. She said, boys like a little more booty to hold a night. So, boys have said it's okay to be fat. <laughs> and women. The next one! I'm every woman, it's all in me. Anything you want to be I do it naturally. Like I'm some kind of secretary. Dots right now, everyone from A to Z. Because I'm organized and I love filing. Oh my god. Well, she would make a really good audio typist, actually. She would. But uh, we are looking for an anthem, not a secretarial job application. Uh, we need some sass here, don't we? I mean, oh, well, we need Christina Aga fucking Lara. Yes! This is for my girls all around the world. Come across a man who Respect your worth, thinking all women should be seen, not heard. So what do we do, girl? Shout louder! Nobody can hold, hold us, down. us down. Nobody can hold, hold us, down. us down. Nobody can hold, hold us, down. us down. Never can, never will. Although, um, actually, no. Hang, hang on, hang on. I, I will say this, okay? In a safe environment between two consenting adults, there is nothing wrong with being held down. I thought we had it. I thought that was it. Um, oh. Uh, it's probably one of the Spice Girls, really. Oh, Jezza Hazza. I know, it's this one. Bag it up, don't drop that baby. Boot him out, but so maybe do your thing. Come on, ladies, whoa, 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 whoa. Treat him like a lady. Treat him like a lady. Why is there still a lady? Because the man's a lady. So then she's the man now. And we're still oppressing ladies. Mummy, what's a lady? I know it's bad, but am I one? Pink! Pink is a kick-ass pop feminist. Yeah. Um, let's see, what about stupid girls, stupid girls. Not a great start. Stupid girls, I don't want to be a stupid girl. Oh, no, she's 
bringing us problems, not solutions. Get her off the committee. Oh, well, maybe it's the 90s handbook on how to be a woman. What is that? Well, I'm a bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a child, I'm a mother, I'm a sinner, I'm a saint. I do not feel ashamed. I'm your hell, I'm your dreams, I'm nothing in between. You know your word, I want it in here. The so, so, sorry, 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 hang on, hang on. Um, nothing in between. So... So no moderate, rational professionals. <laughs> no Moira Stewart. I'm just thinking about my tax. Or what about sisters are doing it for themselves? Sisters appear to be beating up their sisters' husbands in elevator salons. Uh, 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 girls just wanna have fun. Nope, girls would like a career, please. Man, I feel like a woman. A man, I feel like a one man. A man being central to all things. Oh my God, are you on your period? <laughs> please, let's be calm. Um, <sighs> look, guys, we're gonna have to stop beating around the bush here. No. <laughs> Please. No, it's just a figure of speech, isn't it? I, ju I just mean that, you know, we all know who it is. It's Beyonce. And it's just a question of which one. Oh, really? I think so. Like... If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Yes. Because I'm nothing without a ring on my finger. If I were a boy... Are we imagining? I'm suggesting a song. Okay. <laughs> I'd roll out of bed in the morning and throw on what I wanted and go. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Never in my life have I just thrown on what I wanted and went. Ridiculous. <laughs> what about who run the world, girls? It's too much. Let me cater to you. It's too little. The shoes on my feet. No superficial. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my Mercenary. telephone bills? I'm a diva, best believer. You Egotistical, no. I woke up like this. I woke up like this, flawless. Uh. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. <laughs> Tell everyone exactly how you wake up every morning. I've been drinking, I've been drinking. Ladies and gentlemen, Beyonce, a superficial, egotistical, mercenary, drink adult fantasist. Okay, look, clearly we're looking in all of the wrong places here, aren't we? Because feminism isn't about women trying to be like men, of course, um, or trying to oppress men in any way. Um, and it's not about telling women how they should do it. It's, it's much simpler than that. I think, it's, I think it's just about social, political, and economic equality. <gasps> Cast off the shackles of yesterday Show that to show that into the fray Our daughters, daughters will adore us And they're singing grateful chorus Well done, well done, well done Sister suffragette Beyonce, the position has been filled There, but uh, we did. I think we just nailed feminism. So it's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play Know Your Lords. Welcome to Know Your Lords, with me, your host, Hans Lamadeus Manish. Alongside me, as always, is my beloved, glamorous assistant, Miss Frisky. Doesn't she look lovely? I will cut you. OK. <laughs> so, tonight it's a battle to the death between two teams. That's right, it's Team Frisky versus Team Manish. Now, you've already picked your sides earlier on in the show, so when called upon, you'd better represent your team. But don't worry, the rules are simple. I will say a statement, and you must tell me to which of the Lords it applies. Your options are very simple. The first option, of course, is pop star Lord, the latest kooky girl known for her hit singles, Royals and Tennis Court. 
Option number two, is Lourdes a Roman Catholic place of pilgrimage in the south of France? Option number three, is Lourdes a cricket ground in North London? Option number four, is Lord D Finland's winning Eurovision entry of 2006 and fans in tonight, I see. And finally, there is uh, the House of Lords, where posh people block sensible legislation and drink port. <laughs> that was satire, in case you're wondering. OK. So, team managers up first for a ten-point starter question. Who's going to play? So, let's find a manish! OK, so you remember at the beginning when we said, and if you don't normally bleat, and then you bleated, uh, just pop your hand in the air. If you're a manish, just pop it in the... Oh, look at it! We've got two. We, that is the absolute world record of number of people just that have admitted the question. to being a manish. This is incredible. Ask the question, Brighton, you, you are beautiful people. Oh, just no, you're lovely, but look, I like you. Look at you, a vision in green. You, are you wearing earplugs? I am. Actually. She's literally wearing earplugs. <laughs> Sensible woman. Very manish. Very manish. Could not be more of a. This is spectacular. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love you. What's your name? Libby. Oh, God. Okay, so, <laughs> team manager up first for 10 points. Now, which of the Lords is able to take in five million pilgrims every season? Five million pilgrims. Okay, you've got five seconds to answer. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Lords. Lords in the top right corner, the Roman Catholic place of pilgrimage, she has answered, and she's correct! Give it up for Manumu! <laughs> Yes, did you know very, that? Very good, very good. Five like... million tourists yes. can get into Lords oh, every I think, year. I do think that was a slightly ambiguous answer. No, uh, no. And a slightly ambiguous question. I think that could apply to any number of the tourist destinations and, of course, Cabin Funny. So right, that's, no, it that's could be any of them, really. So Team let's frisky. Find, a fr no. find a frisky <laughs> Please, quickly. Please, by all means, you just continue to text on your phone. <laughs> you are lucky that you are wearing such glamorous knitwear tonight, young lady. Stop Just remember, to... some of us made an effort. Thousand pound dress. <laughs> I like, no, stop. I like, you're good. Okay, no, we can, you can make it up to me. We can be the Friskies. We're going to do this. Hit us. Friskies, okay, so go. Team Frisky for 10 points. Which of the Lords is renowned for its significant slope, causing appreciable deviation in the bounce of the ball? Okay, slope, appreciable deviation. This could be sporting terms, it could be economic terms, it could be political terms, it could be geographical terms, it could be oh. the, 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 yes. So we know, don't we, that the answer, the House of Lords. What, that's your final answer? Yes. OK, let's wait for it to go green, which it won't because it's Lord's Cricket Ground. <laughs> yeah, she's laughing because she knew the answer. You oh. didn't... You oh, should have listened oh, to her. Oh, you was going to say you're giving me sass now, girl? What is this? All right? Oh. Jesus, you just, you know, sit there and fucking play on your text, bitch. Whatever, next. So Question. Sorry. Someone else is a manish. Someone yes. could be you. Probably a manish. What's your name? No one cares. Oh, Question. God. <laughs> Fine. Which of the Lords is, has a, an irregularly shaped grot? It's a bit disgusting, it's French uh, Grotto. OK, no, we can't possibly answer that question, oh, question because I think the answer is, again, far too obvious, because if we know her mother, and who doesn't, that one is definitely Popstar Lord. How do you know Popstar Lord's mother? Uh, how do I know world-famous pop sensation Madonna? Uh, because I've been alive the last 25 years. 38, and also you completely got it wrong. Um, Barry, on my laptop, can you bring up a new browser window and do a Google image search on Lord's no, Chicone, you know, you, okay? You, know you think that Madonna's, Madonna's daughter, daughter is the Lord that we're talking about, but that's, those are two now, different people, okay? Madonna has her. a daughter no, 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 called no, 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 Lord, that's, that's and she's exactly an American no, teenager. She's Lord one. is from yes, New Zealand. They're different people. Look, no, that's Lord's Chicone. You think we're doing it about this person, but no. They're the same person. Look at the zygomatical muscles and the nasolabial folds. Those are two very different people. This is the person about whom the quiz. No, please, just patronise me some more. Please, whole thing is about. Condescend to me! So we're just saying that team manage win by default, oh, are we? Team manage win. Team manage win every fucking night. Honestly, I don't know why you do this to me. Why you wind me up when you know that I suffer from stress-induced narcolepsy. Okay, so we've entered phase two of the meltdown. See how that escalated there? Yeah. Here, we've got a diva fit of absolutely ridiculous proportions, but also, in our case, a rather unusual disease. Stress-induced narcolepsy. I wonder if that's going to come up later in the show. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. Was, was I out long? Was I? That was close. I'm so sorry. Jesus, you just you shouldn't do that to me, honestly. You, just, you, you don't just... have to be such a sore loser. Okay, no. So, I, you're right. You're absolutely right. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know, don't know what came over me there. Just, um, maybe now, maybe I can make it up to you somehow. Um, actually, 
There is something I've been meaning to do for a very long time, and this seems like the moment. Um, I would like to sing a tribute to my partner in crime, my manish. In B flat major. It must have been cold there in my shadow. Wow. To never have sunlight on your face. You were content to let me shine. That's your way. You always walked a step behind. God, this is rude. So I was the one with all the glory. But you were the one with all the strength. And that is important too, guys. Thank you. A beautiful face without a name. For so long, a beautiful smile to hide the pain. Thank you so much for that. Can I return the favour now? Don't go changing to try to please me. Don't change the colour of your hair. When I wasn't going to do that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't imagine yes. you're too familiar. Well, I had it. Although I might not seem to care. Yeah, it's funny you should say that. <laughs> I don't want clever <laughs> conversations. I never want to work that hard. Wow. I just want someone yes. that I can talk at. I'll take you just the way you are. So sweet. I just have to sing another to you because I know you've never loved the crinkles by your eyes when you smile. You've never loved your stomach or your thighs. The dimples in your back at the bottom of your spine But I love them endlessly I don't know how you've seen those, that's weird I know you've never loved the sound of your voice on tape You never want to know how much you weigh No! You still have to squeeze into your jeans Fuck off! But you're perfect to me Doesn't sound like it, does it? But I won't let these little things slip We'll try harder, some are getting through. But if it's true, it's you. Oh, it's you they add up to. You have insulted me in every possible way. Oh, but you wouldn't be you without all those little things. No, you can buy your hair if it won't grow. Did you ever know that you're my hero? You could fix your nose if you say so. And everything I would like to be. Beautiful, no matter what everyone is saying about you behind your back. I can fly higher than an eagle. It's always going to be an uphill battle for you. But you are the wind. Wings, I am the mocking jay.
dear. Um, uh, who's a sore loser now? <laughs> no, he's fine, he's fine. He's just um, eating a baguette. <laughs> Those of you who've seen us before, you remember, don't you? He used to be so skinny, didn't he? And now, I just... <laughs> Anywho. Uh, so, we are under contractual obligation to remain hip, fresh, and current, and include a song from at least the last two years. So, this next song was a massive smash on the chart top parade <laughs> last year, and so if you don't know it, it is because you are lame. <laughs> and of course, uh, we know that it is by the cleaned bandits. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, where that noise is coming from. Just, um, what? Look what I found you, in the corn exchange. You can't, you can't, just, you can't just take it to your find. I didn't even know you could do that. There's, are, we, are we not doing cleaning of the bandits? Yeah, don't worry. We are. You're welcome. We're a thousand miles from comfort. <laughs> and we have traveled land and sea. I don't think it has to be on your eye, necessarily. <laughs> when you're ready, take it. as long as you are with me. There's no place I'd rather be. I would wait forever, exalted in the sea. But as long as I am with you, my heart continues to beat. With every step we take, key over to the base, strolling so casually. We're different and the same, gave you another name, switch off the batteries. If you gave me a chance, I would take it. It's a shot in the dark, but I'll make it. No, with all of your heart, you can't shame me. When I am with you, there's no place I'd rather be. Here we go, yo ho ho. No place I'd rather be, yo ho ho. No place I'd rather be, yo ho ho. No place I'd rather be when I am with you. There's no place I'd rather be. <laughs> shiver my timbers, shiver my bones, yo ho he ho. I have staked out on my mission to find my okay, inner really peace. Don't need to do the second verse. Make it everlasting, it, so, so nothing is incomplete. It's easy being with me in sacred simplicity. But as long as I'm together, my heart continues to be that hard. Treasure, that is what you are. You're my golden star. Make my wish come true. Let me bury you. Let me bury you. Because it's treasure to get it. If you gave me a chance, I would take it. It's a shot in the dark, but I'll make it. No, with all of your heart, you can't save me. Stop! Cadenza. That's this sort of thing. No, step away, you're not qualified. <laughs> when I am with you. <laughs> when I am with you. When I am with you, there's no place I'd rather. what's going on here. I appear to have been handed a letter on stage mid-show. I mean, what could it possibly... That's right. I'm resigning from Frisky and Manish. Is this the end for Frisky and Manish? Find out now. Yes, you heard. Why, I order... Order what? What are you going to do? Well, huh? I... You, uh, <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, we have entered phase three of the meltdown, the public disintegration part. Concentrate. 
I was going to wait until after the show to resign, but then I found out that H from Steps did it during the interval. <laughs> and we all know that I like to model my career on H from Steps, thank so, you. Uh, I turn my back and find myself out on the line. Yeah. You could have warned me, but that would have been too kind. Oh, I've been warning you for months. Lately, you've been acting mighty strange. To me, it seems your attitude has changed. That's a lie. That's a lie. Oh, no, it's, it's not. It's just... I haven't been feeling that well. Okay, you gotta stop excusing yourself. I think you're crazy. You get him fatter all the time. Really, Queen? Now, who you calling crazy? You self-indulgent, self-absorbed, unprofessional. You! I'm calling you. I'm calling you. Sometimes it's hard to be a you woman. You listen to me, miss, blame it on the world. See, I put up with you for much too long. I have put up with you going off script. I put up with you singing me tributes. I even put up with you harassing audience members. Oh, no, what are you two gonna stop all this fighting? My text, bitch. This is a private conversation. Yeah, well, it's between us two. We're as much a part of the show as anyone else. And we're tired, so fucking tired. Problems you're making us. I always knew you were in this together. What? I always knew that you were getting up on me. Oh no, she had nothing to do with this change. It was you. It was you always thinking of you. I bet you think the song is about you, don't you? Knew you were trouble from the start. Oh, please. You were real bad trouble from the start. I'm your man. Trouble, trouble maker. Yeah, that's your middle name. No, it's not. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Yeah, but don't worry, frisky. What? I'll buy you up. Oh, there is no money dirty enough to buy me. I can remember that man. Lay off, frisky. Barry? Just take the money, you bro. Oh, yeah, well, you will be in this with him, wouldn't you? Cool it, frisky. Is it just because you're shagging? Does not it's give you the right to do I will cut you. I will cut you. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth, frisky. Because we don't need that talk from no second rate diva who can't sustain. I ain't feeling well. He's got pain, you're throwing up every other morning. I need to tell you something. Get out right now. It's the end of you and me. I could have another you in a minute. Matter of fact, he'll be well, here you need in me, a minute. Matt. I don't Maybe need you, you at all. Feel you me need care. me, don't man. I don't, don't need you. Thank you, your mama too. And your daddy. Oh, now look what you've done. It's your fault.
we chained our hearts in vain We jumped, never asking why We kissed and fell under your spell A love no one could deny Don't you ever say I just walked away I will always want you I can't live a lie running for my life I will always want you I came in like a wrecking ball I never felt so hard in love All I wanted was to break your walls All you ever did was Crashing in a blazing fall All you ever did was Wreck me Yeah, you You wreck me I never meant to start a war I just wanted you to let me in But instead of using force I guess I should have let you I never meant to start a war I just wanted you to let me in I guess I should have let you win I rise up to the sky You shoot me down But I'm gonna fly Rise like the phoenix Out of the ashes seeking rather than vengeance Retribution you were warned Once I'm transformed Once I'm reborn No, I will rise like the phoenix But you're my flesh I am the Mockingjay. Why? Why do you have to ruin everything? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that this was a public audition for Miss Saigon, okay? If I hadn't swung in on the wrecking ball, that entire bit would have... I'm sorry. If you hadn't... What? Yes, that reaction was for me, not for you, okay? No, no, because that is a very obvious and ubiquitous joke! Exactly, joke! That's the operative word. You seem to have forgotten that. Joke! We're doing a comedy show here. It's comedy, not... Embarrassing yourself for attention! Fuck off! Oh, nice. Real classy, that is. Nice. All I have to do is get to the end of this show and then I don't have to see you ever again, OK? Oh. 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 Never has to see me again! Never see me again! But what about her? What about her? <gasps> what about her? What? What about her? What? Our tickets to Madonna's Rebel Heart Tour! Huh? Is this gonna not go? I put a screen in between or something. Do you mean my tickets that I bought with my credit card? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I'm taking Barry. <laughs> Barry didn't even crack a smile when Madonna stacked it at the Brits! I'll stack you in the Brits! Dear Frisky and Manish, what the feck are you doing? A 
Of all the pop meltdowns I've publicly commented on, this is the fucking weirdest. These people have paid to see your show, not some bizarre camp episode of Hollyoaks. Manish, you're obscuring your talent by pimping yourself. Your body is for you and your boyfriend. And Frisky, whether you like it or not, you're gonna be a mother and a role model. Don't be such a strappy diva. And easy on the blusher, love, you look like a man in drag. Now stop all this that here now fighting. You're good together. No one knows why, but you're quite popular. Now go off stage and get changed into something nice and funky and give us a grand finale with some good songs that I've heard of. And Barry, why don't you play that lovely costume change video you've got on fire there? Love and kisses and go on with yourself to be sure. Shouldn't it?
do you like? It's the good life To be free and explore the unknown Roll a skate, choose a bad choice And the heartache When you learn, you must face it alone That you're never alone with a baby, hashtag feminism But that's not what that means Just remember, remember I still want you Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all. Do you need help getting down? Just get it, just get it once you're skirted up. Can't you just sit down? No, you're going to slide down. And give me a glimpse into the chasm of your soul. Every time. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sitting with us as we went through that. Obviously, as we said at the beginning, it had to be that extreme. We had to tick all those boxes and go through all those phases in order to have a meltdown worthy of Sinead O'Connor herself. But honestly, when it comes to your own personal meltdown narrative, just whatever you're comfortable with. Don't feel pressured to go that far. You know, um, you could just eat a burger a bit quickly and that's it. Or you could go for a full 27 club membership. But anywhere on that spectrum that you sit, just, just own it and be it and live it. But we would just like to make you aware of a third option. You can forget meltdowns completely and just do an Adele and be good at songs. Now you are absolutely gorgeous, as you know. We love you in Brighton! Now don't worry, I can hear you. I hear what you're saying. You're saying, Frisky and Manish, we are ready to go out there and have a meltdown all of our own. Where do we begin? Well, luckily for you, we have one or two suggestions in a musical form. Let's sing the meltdown song. Yeah. <laughs> Sex, drugs, rock and roll. Cigarettes and alcohol. Partying a whole weekend. Life is fun if you pretend. A Facebook update. OMG, this, this stuff is great. great! Maybe you can't handle it, but no one really gives a shit. We can't stop bunt up kicks. Did you vote for Little Mix? Shave your head, lob a bomb. Everything's so right, it's wrong. Friday night, you're so vain. Where the hell is that plane? Hold tight, don't, don't scream. scream. Maybe this is all a dream. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. The applause. Applause, applause, I live for the applause, applause, live for the, you know what we're looking for. Do you wine on the plate, mug shot, court date, beavers on the home straight, pissing in a bucket, great shot lift, flip the bird, use a really naughty word, whatever it takes, just get me in the red top place, plagiarise, wear meat, find a girlfriend you can beat, kiss a girl, say your bye, have a very public cry, sun's out, guns out, Oh, 
Coffee, half price, crack ice, Mars and Mars are carpet tiles, TVs, D3s, David Bowie LPs, ball games, gold chains, wasps, names and that are bush, Trevor Francis track suits from a bush in Shepherd's Bush, 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 so much bush, 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 we did start the fire, it was only fools and horses, that man got it. Especially my fiance Barry. Hey, we love him. We've been frisky and.